we often start with the company itself. Um, we'll go inside the company and do what we call looking in interview. Interviewing the stakeholders of that organization to learn about what's been done before, what have past failures taught them, um, what are they curious about, and where do they think their users uh, have, have unmet needs. And then we take those things and we go outside the company and say, okay, now that we've met with all those stakeholders, what are the needs we can sort of investigate? And so we'll make a research plan, we'll usually go out into the real world, go into people's homes, go into shops, go into wherever the environment is of that product or, or service, uh, and start our research there, sort of on the ground with people. In the States, we work with a, a very like, sort of legacy insurance company, 183 years old. Uh, and they had a very great customer base, which is slowly aging. And they asked us, how are we going to start reaching a younger generation? How are we going to get them to care about our insurance products? We think that we should open a, an online store for insurance. What we figured out is that their target, this 30-something sort of mindset, uh, actually needs a lot more financial education than they need viable tools. So. With their, with their blessing, we built an entirely new brand and service and offer that was all around financial education and financial confidence for a younger generation. Be confident in who your target audience is. A lot of young entrepreneurs have a great technology or great idea that they think can solve everyone's needs. Um, what we think is that you know, the more, more confident you are in your target audience, the better suited it will be for that audience. I think uh, what a lot of companies are, are, are sort of great at, but also maybe missing um, in some terms, is, is being able to just communicate in human language. Um, we get a lot of entrepreneurs that come in with an excellent idea and they've just never communicated to the public before. So they're used to communicating to their peers in science or in finance and those people speak a different language than the rest of the audience. So um, being able to communicate your value proposition in very human terms, making sure people get it from the first pitch, really, really important. <laughs>